Hello all, welcome to Sivan's SAPSD training YouTube channel. So today in this recording, I would like to explain you all about the how the plant will be determined into the sales order and the importance of payment terms, which is maintained in company code data can be on table as well as the sales or sales area data can be the table of the customer master data. So everyone will be struggling about this, like uh, how the plants plant will be determined into the sales order and then the whether the system gives high priority to the uh, payment terms maintained in the company code data or sales era data so that today we are going to discuss exclusively in this uh, recording so let me uh, first explain what exactly the plant determination plant determination is based on the three factors wherever it is maintained so the, how the system gives the priority first preference is if you maintain the plant in customer material info information record that is cmir second step customer master data cmd and third one is material master data. See, in these three places, first the system searches for the plant which is available in the customer material info record. If it is not found, then it will go to customer master data and, and customer master data, sales area data tab under the shipping, the delivery plant will be there. So if it is not found there also, it will go to the material master data. Uh, in the material master data sales organization data one where the delivering plant will be there even if it is not found then if all the above places there is no plant means the user can determine the plant manually so that is the why, that is why the plant determination plays a major role, especially whenever the user wants to create the sales order. The system should automatically fetch the value from customer material info record if it is maintained, or customer master data if it is maintained in customer master data, or if it is maintained in material master data. Sometimes all the three places also will be there, but system gives high priority to the plant which is there in the customer material info record. So. So, and the one more step here i would like to highlight payment terms or terms of payment how the system gives priority to the payment terms which is maintained in the company code data company code data screen where in the payment transactions so where we can see that terms of payment will be there and one more place where it is like the sales area data. So always remember that one, remember one thing that the terms of payment importance will be given by the system, which is maintained in the sales area data screen. That means the system gives high importance to the field value maintained in sales area data screen. Sales area data, billing documents. So if it is maintained, even if you don't maintain the terms of payment at the, at the time of definition of the company code data, company code data screen, so if it is maintained in sales area data screen, the same thing will be populated into the, um, into the sales order. So that is what the importance, the system will always give the importance to the value which is maintained in the sales area data screen for the terms of payment or payment terms. Please remember this one. So let us see in SAP how it looks like. So let us log into SAP. So I have my own organizational elements are there. So let me first try to create one sales order and then we will observe 
what exactly the plant and the payment terms simultaneously. So VA01 transaction, the standard auto type OR, sales organization, I have defined of my own ZE and ZE. So, so Zero Motors is my customer and he is one of the materials. I'm just preparing it. See, let us see here, we can see that the plant as well as the payment terms both have come. The plant JDR1 has come and as well as the payment terms also has come. So we do not know in the first instance, instance itself or from where it came. That is uh, either from the, the company core data or sales era data of the customer master data. At the same time, whatever the plant has come here also, the plant is determined here also at line item level under shipping tab where you can see the plant. So we do not know from where it came, whether it is maintained in customer material info record or customer master data or material master data. So from here, we will go, go to the customer master data first, go to XD02 transaction, specify your company code. So here, if I go to the company code data screen under payment transactions tab, the terms of payment, which is not there here. So that means the payment terms has come from the sales era data screen if it is maintained there under the billing documents tab. Yes, the terms of payment has been maintained in the sales era data screen. So that is why the same thing has been populated into the sales order, which we can see here, the payment terms. So that means the system gives high priority to the terms of payment, which is maintained in the sales area data screen. So that will be used for the generation of the reports. That is why the system will always give priority to the sales area data screen. This is the interview question, which you can explain to your interviewers. So now let me remove the terms of payment here also. And then let me uh, go to shipping. And here the delivering plant is there. Maybe this is one of the reasons why the delivering plant might have determined into the sales order. And we will cross check it whether this uh, plant is maintained in the customer material info record and the material master data. So let us go to VD52, the change mode of the customer material information record. So here we can see the details button where there is no plant. So that means the plant is not maintained in the customer material info record and it is maintained in the customer master data screen. And we have to confirm whether the plant is maintained or not in the material master data also. Even if it is maintained in material master data also, the system gives the second priority to the customer master data only. So from here, in the sales order level here, we can go to display material. So sales organization data one view where we can see the delivering plant, which is blank. So this seems to be the plant is determined based on the customer master data. However, I wanted to remove this plant, delivering plant, and save it. See here, I have removed the delivering plant as well as the terms of payment in the sales era data screen. Even company code data screen also, the payment terms is not there. So let us save it. And uh, so delivering plant, it is not there. And we have, we do not have maintained the, we have not maintained the um, customer material info record also where it is not there. So now we can see, we will go to again, sales order creation, PA01. And then let us see, specify the material. You can see both the payment terms is blank and the plant also is blank here. So both the things have not uh, performed here, not, not populated here. So that means the payment terms which we have removed from the sales era data, that is not coming here. And at the same time, the plant which is removed from the um, uh, customer master data also, it is not populating. So what we have to do now, so we will do, Again, the change mode of the customer master data. 
I will maintain the terms of payment in the company code level. I do not want to maintain at sales era data level. This is one thing. And the shipping, I wanted to keep it as a delivering plan, keep it as blank only, and then I'm saving it. So let me go to the customer master, customer material info record. And then here I will maintain the plant. So my plant is ZDR1, so which I have maintained, press enter, and then save it. Now, if I again create the sales order, now you can observe how the plant and the payment terms will be populated. Specify your customer, specify the material, See, the system has proposed the plan automatically because it is maintained in the customer material info record in the first instance itself. So now the plant has come from the customer material information record, whereas it is not maintained in the uh, customer master data as well as the material master data also. However, the payment terms is blank because we have not maintained in the sales area data screen. If you would have maintained the payment terms or terms of payment field in customer master data, sales era data screen, so then then that the same value would have been populated here, here also. So hence, please remember that one, the system will always give high priority to the value terms of payment which is maintained in the sales area data screen. Then now final step, what I'm going to do, uh, I'll go to the customer master data again and then uh, go to billing documents. Let me specify my payment terms, the terms of payment, press enter, and then go back to the company code data. Even if you remove or even if you keep it as it is also, will not make any difference. Even if you remove this field or even if you uh, keep this field as it is, will not make any difference because the system will give high priority to the value which is maintained in sales era data screen for the terms of payment. Please remember this one. Now let me save this customer master data and the final step which we are going to check for the both like uh, terms of payment as well as the delivering plan. Again, I'm going to create a sales order. Here you can see sold to party, we specify the value material and let us see here see the system has automatically proposed the plant zdr1 and the payment terms which i have taken as also zdr1 the same thing has been automatically populated right from the customer master data to the sales order so that means always remember that the sales documents are nothing but data containers which contains all the master data. That means like customer master data, material master data, customer material information, record conditions master, output master, and so on. The similar way, the system has copied everything. If you go to header level, under billing document, you can see the terms of payment will be there. And the same way, at item level also, we can see the terms of payment will be there. The terms of payment will be there. Even in code terms also for that matter has been populated from the customer master data. If you click on shipping, so where we can see the plant automatically proposed by the system, ZDR1. So this is already available in the system because we have maintained in the customer material info record. So two, two more cross checks. I wanted to reconfirm that this plant is blank at the material level and customer master data level again. Anyhow, we have seen already that uh, the plant delivering plant is not there in the customer master data. However, we wanted to make sure that it is not maintained in the customer master data and material master data. So from the sales order level itself, we can go and then see, go to environment, go to partner, first display sold to party. So go to sales area data screen, under shipping. So delivering plant is blank. So the delivering plant is blank means, that means the system is proposing from the customer material information record. So before to confirm that one, we will be checking the material master. 
again from here we can see the environment and the display material. So here you can see the delivering plant is blank. So now we are confirming that the plant is determined in the sales order because of the customer material info record which contains that value. So that means the system gives high priority to the uh, plant determination during the plant determination for the customer material information record that is CMIR. So you, these two places it is not maintained hence there is no uh, issue uh, even if you maintain also it will propose but if it is not there in the customer material info record then you can see that yes it is maintained in customer master data hence the system has determined the plan even if it is not maintained in customer master data if it is maintained in material master data yes the system will determine the plant into the sales order this is one thing and this is like very very important interview question again the system gives high priority to the terms of payment which is maintained in the sales area data screen not in the company code data screen so this one you have to explain so thank you all